what's going on guys so in this video i'm gonna go over my 2020 cost to maintain the tahoe uh, it's 2004 it's got 230,000 miles on it and 20,000 miles of that was uh 2020 so even with the coronavirus and all the other stuff we end up uh still traveling and for work we had to still move around so 20,000 miles uh it went from coast to coast and some of this is just basic maintenance and some of this is wear items that uh that just basically you know it's time to change anyway so 230,000 miles vehicle is almost 17 years old and i like to write everything down that i have to put into it um just just to keep track of the money i spend on it so to start with uh the rear brakes so the rear brakes is just a maintenance item um it was about time um and in the years that I've owned this, I've never had to change the rear brakes. So I had to do rotors and pads. It was $140 total. And I did the maintenance myself. So all the maintenance I've done to this, I did myself. So I did save quite a bit of money uh, not paying a shop to do this stuff. So first thing was the brakes. That was $140. Second was the battery. And when I had to replace the battery, I wasn't even mad. Um, it, was, it was probably about five years old. And then one day I came out and it was just dead. So easy fix $100 um, next was the tie rods the inner and outer the pitment arm the sway bar end links and pretty much a lot of the front end stuff and those are those are key items that wear out on the the Chevy's the Suburbans the Tahoe's the the Silverado's and it was time to change those out so I've always run bigger tires I've had the the lift on it since pretty much I bought it so almost eight years and the last tires i had on here were 35s uh they were like 34.8 or whatever when you measured them so the tie rods were pretty beat up the pitman arms there's just a lot of noise and the front end was very sloppy so the inner and outers um they were 40 bucks each so that's that's uh four per side or two per side and then the pitman arms were 80 dollars um, I also had the pooler already so that like I said, I did all this maintenance myself. So um, Did all this in a couple hours and then I paid to have it aligned So the alignment was cheap. It was $40 and uh, they were running a special. It was like $19 for alignment um, But when you got oversized tires and wheels, they want to charge you more. So I paid for that too um, the sway bar inlinks were just 13 bucks and uh, Those are simple. Those are quick I mean, literally, it's it's one nut, the bolt flies up, and then swap it out, swap out the bushings. The next thing was uh, very inconvenient, but it was the water pump. So I was driving from Texas to South Carolina. I was about three hours in that trip, and all of a sudden, like, I noticed that there was water leaking um, on the bottom, and it was still running the same normal operating temp, but when I got gas, I could see the water just pouring out. And a big thing with these uh, Chevy engines, the 5.3s, is they have a little peephole on the water pump. So once they start uh, getting old and they wear out, they basically leak out of that little hole. And it's a, it's a slower leak at first, but it gradually gets worse. So I changed that in the parking lot. Uh, along with that, I did the thermostat. That was $220, and that includes coolant. Um, the belt was still good, so I reused the belt. Uh, two oil changes. I run Mobile One Extended, and like I said, I go about 10,000 miles, depending depending on how it gets driven, a lot of highway miles, so I used the Mobile One Extended. That was uh, $80, including the Mobile One Extended filters. And differential fluids, I didn't write a price down because I had extra fluid, because pretty much all my trucks uh, they take the same thing so I think it's uh, 7590 in the front and 75 140 in the rear um, and the last most uh, biggest headache item was the service four-wheel drive so not necessarily cost wise but time wise because diagnosing it it took a while and when I started having issues it happened in a parking lot so the service four-wheel drive I actually paid $20 for a U-switch, which I found out that wasn't the problem. 
So $20, not a big deal. Um, and then a couple hours just trying to figure out what was going on, why I wouldn't, why it was stuck in it, why, why nothing would change. And it ended up being the TCCM. So the transfer case control module, and that was $220. So one thing that's not calculated in this price, well, two things that aren't calculated in, in this 2020 maintenance is the time. So some people, you know, they'll argue that the time that you, you know, you pay somebody to do it, you make back in money. Well, I did all, all this on my off time or at times when I had to do it by myself because one, I was on the road or two, I was stuck somewhere. So um, another thing that's not in here is uh, the tires. Cause of course I bought the tires in 2020. Um, tires, I think were like 830 bucks, but tires are a normal uh, maintenance item. I probably still could have rolled out the other tires, but it, it was time to change them out. And I wanted a smoother, quieter ride. So I spent the money on that. So 2020 in a whole without including the tires, it was just under $1,100 in maintenance. If I include the tires, we're looking at $1,900. So $1,900 to drive this thing for a full year. That's not including gas, of course, or insurance, but just to, to maintain and upkeep this vehicle. So a brand new Tahoe right now costs about $60,000, $70,000, and you're financing it probably. You're going to pay monthly way more than you do just trying to maintain and keep something running. So... I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep maintaining this and keep driving it. Um, one thing to note is that, yeah, I spent $1,100 last year on maintenance, which to me is pretty cheap. But there's other years where, like 2019, 2018, I put maybe, maybe $150 in this thing. And that's just basic oil changes and stuff like that. So, like I said, this won't be everybody's vehicle, but this is how much I spent in 2020. Um, if you, if you got a Tahoe, Suburban, Silverado, let me know some of the items you just changed actually in 2021. Two days ago, I had to change the wheel bearing because it didn't just give me a sign that it was going to go out. It actually started locking up. But so 2021, I'm already out $180 for a wheel bearing. But if you have something similar, um, drop a comment. Let me know what you have. Let me know the issues you've seen. And thanks for watching.